KJ Alphonse is a member of the National Executive of the BJP, former bureaucrat, speaks up on several issues. I hope, uh, Mr. Alphonse, you speak up on this one as well. Uh, Dinesh Gundu Rao is a MLA of the Congress Party in Karnataka. <coughs> And uh, Harish Bijur is a strategy, marketing, and branding consultant from Bangalore. Harish, to you first, you know. Uh, this uh, so called study tour, I, I don't think Mr. B.S. Yadirappa is a picture of virtue to be, you know, giving lectures on how money should be spent. Uh, he has some different kind of experience. But this study tour at a time of drought, isn't this the ultimate cruelty? Yes, uh, absolutely. In fact, you know, I think we should stop calling this a study tour at all in the first place. That's true, actually. It's not a study tour. It's a junket. Uh, the important thing is, uh, it's an issue of ethos. You know, public money is meant to be spent on public good and not on private good. And now this looks like to be very, very private good. Uh, a junket is. Uh, a junket at the fag end of the assembly when we are going to face elections soon enough. I think it's a bit much. Secondly, it's a question of timing, and the timing is uh, when 146 of our talukas are going to, uh, through a drought situation, and the very same government is asking the central government for relief to the tune of 5,500 crores right up to 11,000 crores. I think the timing is totally wrong to be spending money on this kind of thing. I find that people from all political parties, including the Congress, are part of this junket. Uh, Dinesh Gundu Rao, is there a sense of embarrassment among political parties at the manner in which this splurging of money is happening? I mean, if you have to go all the way to Peru to study and you actually genuinely expect that people, not you as in your political parties, expect that people will accept this at face value, that we had to go to Peru to study? Study what? Yeah, I don't, I don't think this tour is required uh, or not because uh, it's not the right time. And uh, actually two weeks ago, uh, I think around August uh, 7th or 8th, the leader of opposition, the chief minister and the other leaders had sat down and discussed and said, let's cancel these tours for, and think about it after two months. So I don't know why the government has allowed... No, no, isn't, isn't B.C. Patil, isn't you know, B.C. Patil from your party? Yeah, there but are you two heard what he said? also on this tour. And there, three, this is it. There are three people from your party. I, One of I your party to, MLA I came says. To know about what he said. No, he, you heard what he says. If you can spend 25 crore on Kasa, why not spend on yeah. us? I mean, this is the most disgraceful comment anyone has made so far, isn't it? I think definitely that's a ridiculous statement he's made, and I, I don't think anybody can defend him or anyone going on this tour. This is not the right time when the government is asking for money. But I don't know. The basic point is why did the government even pay for this? When, they do, when uh, the chief minister himself has said that they shouldn't go, the speaker no, is saying that, you know... Because there is uh, an all-party consensus. The teach them a lesson. No, no, because there, is a, because, because there is an the all-party consensus. The Congress and the BJP, which cannot come to no, a conclusion on how to debate Colgate is, in Parliament, there is no have all come to an all-party consensus. There you have no come to an all-party consensus. No, there is no all-party consensus on this because our president has said not to go, our opposition leader has said not to go. That is a so weak you know, defense. The entire that thing is a weak is defense. Not to go. That is a weak defense. I mean, are you saying that no, these it's not people? Not defense. You know, we are saying it, there's no need to go. No, no. One second. It is a completely weak defense because the people have gone. My, like KJ Alphonse, what is the point of uh, complaining after the people have left? See, there are two points. Are, number one is the government should not have been yeah, paid for this. Things, number yeah. one. No, let's number let's two, get KJ Alphonse going, in. Coming back to you. Coming back to you, own, Dinesh. Let's get KJ Alphonse in. On the go against the party will also. So no, it's a, it's no. A, this is a situation where no. You have to get them back. The you must. You must have a campaign that they shouldn't go. No, Mr. Mr. Rao, it's not good enough to keep saying they shouldn't go, shouldn't go, shouldn't go. You should lead a campaign. You and KJ Alphonse and others should hit the streets saying. Please don't shame us, don't embarrass us, don't be so selfish, come back. A lot of other issues also. I'm no, this is a major issue. It is, it is a major issue. In Bangalore, it, it is a, it, we have so many issues in yes, Bangalore. So that's also, what, you know. in, in Bangalore, nobody's so, picking up garbage. Yes. People are dying in drought, farmers are committing suicides, and yeah. these MLAs are going on an all-paid junket to South America. I mean, this is so cruel. KJ Alphonse. What do you think? Yeah, Arnab, I, uh, I've been an MLA in Kerala for five years and I, I never went on a foreign junket. 
Now, uh, the farthest I went to was to Andamans and I really loved it. Now, I have a slight difference of opinion in this. I believe that Indian politician is, is fairly close-minded. He should really see the world. And therefore, I do not really... Uh, I, I really want Indian politicians to go abroad and see things. Take, for example, very simple thing. Uh, very good. Garbage disposal. The biggest garb garbage disposal plant I have ever seen is in, is in Vienna, the capital of uh, Austria. That garbage disposal plant gets tourists, about one million tourists visit that garbage disposal plant. The outside of the garbage disposal plant is painted by the biggest artists of Austria. And therefore, to me, I've been to 63 countries around the world when I was in the IAS. Everywhere I go, I walk the street, I never take a taxi, never take a, almost a public transport. I walk and walk and walk and I learn things. And this is exactly what I have done. You know, what kind of... You know, you know, 2000... At this point or not? No, 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 no. The question is, the question is that 2000... we are facing drought conditions, when we are having so many problems, no. Uh, and when everyone, all the top leaders of Karnataka, cutting across party lines, said not to go, if the government is allowing them to go, then uh, what is the message that we, we are giving to the people? Two thousand. You know, Arna, the I would love it yeah. if, if if these uh, legislators of ours were sent in for a program at the Indian School of Business at Hyderabad or the I am Bangalore, right here, where we would teach them a lot of things which I do believe are relevant. And that wouldn't cost too much money, that wouldn't cost too much time, that wouldn't raise eyebrows. But learning can happen within our country, it can happen within our management institutes. And as far as Mr. Alphonse's point is concerned, I think our bureaucrats, maybe two of our bureaucrats going out to study something specific is just fine. Because I think there will be a lot more action coming out of that than a hundred legislators and a huge junket, which is largely a holiday. I think this is, this is the limit of selfishness. I'm sorry to be so direct today. But you know, 2,909 people have committed suicides in the state of Karnataka. Garbage is not being picked up. And these irresponsible MLAs seem to think it's a matter of right. That's my problem. These MLAs say, what's wrong? And you know what one of them said, Mr. Alphonse? He said, do you think 3 or 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, like 10 lakh rupees being spent on me is going to end the drought? This same person is then going to go and make a farce. Uh, of, of sympathizing with the farmers during a Arnav, drought situation. Arnav. Mr. Alphonse, my question to you is very simple. How much money do you think it takes to stop a farmer from committing, debt-ridden farmer from committing suicide? These people commit suicide under debts of 20,000, 50,000, yeah, 60,000. In other words, yeah. you can save hundreds of lives with the money you are spending yeah. on what is clearly a carnival. It's a carnival. It's not a. It's not an educational trip. Arnab, I. Arnab, I completely agree with you that the timing is wrong. When there is a drought in the state of Karnataka, the MLAs have no business to be going abroad. I completely agree with you. But on the broader point of politician getting educated, if he wants to learn, you see, this is again a broader question. Is the MLA's politician willing to learn? If he is willing to learn, I do not agree with Harish that all the knowledge of the world is available in India. No, you, no, no, so that's not true. India Public sector know. undertaking committee. Even simple things like... No, no, no estimates committee goes to Scandin. Look at the choice of See, destination, exotic thing. destinations. One minute. Estimates and assurance committee Arnav, will go Arnav, to Scandinavian countries and Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Finland and Iceland. They will go to Iceland. I want to Arnav, know today Arnav, Arnav, what the Arnav. estimates and assurances committee will in Karnataka learn by going to Iceland. This is incredible. And Arnav, the public sector undertaking actually, committee Arnav, will go to Dubai. Arnav, if you allow me. See, you can... Arnav, can I come in on this? Arnav, you can learn good things from any country. Let me tell you the Scandinavian no, countries on, me, me, you, are one of the best governed countries in the world. If, uh, you, are willing, uh, uh, if you are open to ideas, the, if you are willing to learn, and if you are not going to be sitting in your room and drinking scotch, if you are not going to be shopping around, if you go with the willingness to learn, there yeah. is so, so much you take to your whole family with you. everywhere in the world. Let's so you take, your, you take your family with you governed. on this study tour. India Interesting. Is governed. Interesting. Can Harish Bijur wants to come in. I have two minutes left. Harish Bijur, can uh, Bangalore I start know. a campaign? Uh, know, bring, really these, bring the junket I, politicians I back. I really believe. I really believe 
Yeah, Arnab, I really believe a great way of doing this would be to do a complete audit. You know, if we had a camera team going with the uh, touring MLAs, we'd really know the absolute truth as to what's happening. Because, come on, let's, let's, let's not pretend uh, that we don't really know what happens on these kinds of trips, which are too mega, too macro, not specific as to what you're studying, what you're meant to pick up. And believe it or not, we will, uh, if we, each of the MLAs was to turn in a note to say what was picked up, believe it or not, I'm sure we're you not should going send to the camera behind to these MPs. You should send the camera behind these MPs. You should send the camera behind these MPs. You should send the camera behind these MPs and you'd know how much work they are doing. But, but, but one point to I come to you before I end up, Mr. Rao, I'm just coming to you. According to sources, no, according to sources, these legislators who are flying to South America for a study tour have not contacted the governments of the countries or bureaucrats in the countries they intend to visit to set up meetings or other engagements. Arunab, there in this tour, Arunab. neither are they meeting the representative of other political Meaning parties, neither are they meeting uh, any of the government departments, neither are they going to be interacting on, a, on any issue concerning that particular country vis-a-vis -vis our country. So this is more like a holiday, Arunab. It's a holiday. So, and you know, this is everyone and, knows. And, and wherever so think, you're watching you know, tonight... I'm an MLA Arunab, and I, I have to Arunab, say that we, these kind of things are not no, required. Mr. Alphonse... Why waste, uh, why waste public exchequer money Mr. Alphonse, on these uh, tours where... Arunab, you, uh, Mr. Alphonse, I have anything. to wrap up. We need to... Mr. Alphonse... Can I have 10 seconds? Okay, you do. Thanks. Can I have yes, 10 seconds? Yes, please. Go ahead. Ar Arnav, we need to change the Indian politician. We need to change the mindset of the Indian politician. We need to change the Indian politician. We need to think global. We need to bring about changes in sure. India. But and you know what? But you, you, know, you know what? I'll tell, I'll tell you one thing. If you, if you want to go, if you, you can, the question is, Mr. Alphonse, tonight, do you, do you make a change? But we need to change. No, do you, when people in your state are dying of drought, do you go to Iceland and Peru to make a change? If you have to go to Iceland and Peru to make a change, Arnab, I then it is a kind of change that I can't understand. I, the Arnab, question I is, with you. you know, this is this story. Arnab, is I agree with you. Send a I camera agree behind with you that this timing is wrong. Yes. This timing is wrong. When there Bring is them a, back. When there is a drought, when there is a drought, maybe in it's your state, a time. You've got to be here. You've well, got let, to make let's see if they come back. But the larger point I'm making is. Indian politician needs to go out let, and Let's learn. see if they come they back. To see the world and let, let, if you're here, watching in Bangalore no tonight, if you're Arnab. watching anywhere in Karnataka, even if you're not tonight, please tell me whether you think public pressure should now be applied to make sure that these MLAs who have gone for this extended foreign vacation, as it looks like, should be forced to come back. Tell us what you think. I'll see you again tomorrow on the News Hour. Good night and goodbye.